Hello, welcome. I'm Mark Hop. You are tuning in to Special Olympics. Thank you for watching. We do a lot of sports here. Recently, our athletes competed in floor hockey and snowshoeing and skiing. A lot of gold medal winners will go to Galena for the state winner competition. I would like you to introduce you to Jan Kramer, the president of Special Olympics Charities. She was on the board for many years. Her polo plunge team won best costume each year. Jen, welcome. Thanks, Mark. Now, this year, what is your team going to be just as? Well, that is super top secret because we spend a lot of time on our costumes every year. And uh, we do the big reveal the day of the plunge. But I can um, assure you that they are going to be just as good this year. Now, what do you have planned for the special children's charity? Well, I'm uh, proud to be on the board and have for a long time. And, you know, one of the things that's most important to me uh, is that people know about Special Olympics in Chicago and they get to meet our athletes and know about our sports and our activities and participate in the Polar Plunge and in the Chicago Marathon. So it's about making sure that people are aware of our charity and, um, you know, marketing ourselves uh, in Chicago. But most importantly, um, our goal is to raise money for our athletes, for uniforms and transportation. And like you mentioned, the athletes going to Galena, being able to pay for those sorts of um, travel expenses and making sure that the athletes have uh, a great experience while participating. That's nice. Now, when you do this, what is your favorite sport? Well, my favorite sp Special Olympics sport, we talked about this, is bocce. Um, first of all, because I never knew how to play until I got on the board and I've been taught by several athletes. So I love bocce because most everybody can participate. But I also uh, love basketball. I love to play basketball, so I love to watch it as a Special Olympic sport. But overall, I'm a Chicago sports fan. I love all the teams. Maybe one baseball team on the south side a little bit more than the north side, but I root for everybody uh, because they're Chicago teams. When you say bocce, I actually got first place. You did. This year? That's yeah. tremendous. Yeah, bocce is great. I've um, been to the event at McGuane Park in Bridgeport, and it's, uh, it's a great day. And it's a fun sport, I think. When, actually, when you say McGuane, I'm, I compete with McGuane. You do compete with McGuane. You told me that. That's cool. That's a great park, and um, it's one of the parks in the Special Olympic Chicago system that has the mo most athletes and the most athletes that uh, compete in a lot of sports. Now, you uh, mentioned when you love to watch the teams. What would you say would be your favorite park? My favorite park? Well, there's so many great parks. Um, and we have so many athletes from so many different parks. Um, I'm most you know, proud of those that have lots of sports in them, Kosciuszko Park and Mount Greenwood Park and Independence Park. Those are obviously our biggest parks with the most, uh, with the most athletes, but those are the, the parks that I've been to the most. So they're some of my favorites. Now you said when you work at the Special Children's Charity, you raise money for uniforms and buses. Mm -hmm. How does that work? Well, what we do is we uh, raise quite a bit of money. Uh, do the Polar Plunge raises a lot of our money every year. And when people participate, um, they raise money from their friends and family. The same thing goes with the Chicago Marathon. Um, people raise money and get their fr friends and family to donate. We also have a lot of really great uh, business corporation partners um, that contribute money such that we can pay for the programs that are offered. Um, those costs cover lots of different things that make the athletes experience everything it can be. So we're constantly trying to raise money, all different sorts of ways. Now, what can people do to help 
special children's charity? Sure, well, they can do something as easy as participate in the Polar Plunge or participate in the Chicago Marathon, which seems daunting, but we have a, we have a training program. They can volunteer at any of our sports. Um, they can get uh, the places where they work involved. They can get a team of people to volunteer at any of the activities, some of the sports that you participate in. Um, they can work with the Chicago Park District and become volunteers if they're interested. Now you said, you have, what's your favorite sport? Can you explain that? Um, well, about bocce being my favorite sport, um, I also love floor hockey because I love to ice skate. So ice hockey, floor hockey. Um, I like the sports that most people can play because it just is more fun when everybody's involved. And that's probably what I love most about bocce. Um, floor hockey is fun because you can do it in the winter, but bocce is fun because you can do it outside um, and do it in the park, which is the best part. That's cool. Now you lived in Chicago all your life, right? Right. Well, I grew up in the suburbs. That's how I started to get involved with Special Olympics. I was a coach um, out in the Northwest suburbs, but I've lived downtown for close to 20 years. Uh, and I did the Polar Plunge for the first time about 12 years ago. So I've been involved with Special Olympics since that very day. That's good. Now, how long were you in part, a part of the Special Children's Charities? Is it hard to do? No, it's not hard to do. You know, I got involved with the plunge and I started getting my friends and family really interested in helping me raise a lot of money. And the ball just kept rolling. I just got more involved each year and then I was invited to become a member of the board several years ago um, and have spent a lot of time brainstorming and coming up with new ideas of how we can get people more involved and raise more money. So it was easy. It was easy to get involved. Now, when you say you started the Special Olympics, I actually started competing for 10 years. You've been competing for 10 years. That's tremendous. Um, there are, you know, Special Olympics started over 40 years ago at Soldier Field. Uh, we actually have some athletes that have been with us for much like you, 10 years, 20 years, 30 years. It's important. It's an incredibly important program for many people and allows them to participate in sports and be on a team and make new friends, which is tremendous. And I love doing this. It gives me something to do. Is it hard for what you do to get involved? You know, it's not hard, Mark, because when you love what you're doing, like you said, you love basketball. When you love what you're doing, it's easy. And you know, you just um, continue to do the best you can all the time, whether it's in sports or otherwise. And, um, you know, that's the best way to be the best at what you do. That's nice. Well, Jen, I want to thank you for coming on the show and sharing us with us your experience from Special Children's Charity. So before we go, can you explain yourself? explain myself well yeah. you know mark i'm just a person who loves people and i most definitely love special olympic chicago and i love each and every one of our 5,000 athletes and i'm proud to be associated with this charity and proud to be a part of such a phenomenal group of people that's nice again i want to thank you for coming on sure i hope you had fun it was great in the beginning it was the chicago park district with ann mcloyne burke as an employee who implemented the first games, who made the first competitive setting for people with developmental disabilities. The games themselves in 1968 started to pose a bit of a problem getting organized that I read to Mrs. Shriver because she knew of places around the country who had the ability to send kids to the games. So I wrote to her. She gave the Park District $25,000 to put on the first games. She also used a little bit of Kennedy muscle to try to get other states involved. So we had 23 states and Canada come to the first games, 1,000 children. And that's where it began in Soldier Field in 68.
if you're just tuning in, I'm Mark Cop, and right now I would like to welcome Jason Erkes. He's the he works at the sports club and everything. Jason, welcome. Thank you. Thanks for having me, Mark. Now you work at the sports and sports club. Can you explain that? Sure. Chicago Sport and Social Club is uh, an organization that runs sports leagues for adults uh, all around the city. We run uh, volleyball leagues and football leagues and softball leagues for basically young professionals to come out after work and on weekends and, uh, and compete in their favorite sport with their friends. Now, how do you like working with the Special Olympians? I love working with Special Olympics. It basically uh, translates very well into what uh, you know, Sport and Social Club does. Uh, Special Olympics is, uh, is a fantastic organization. 5,000 athletes around the city competing in you know, a number of different sports, parks and schools, and uh, it's a very, very rewarding organization to come out and be a part of. Now, what is, uh, you said uh, about sports club, what is, what is your favorite sport? My favorite sport to play or my favorite sport to watch? Both. <laughs> well, you know, growing up in Chicago, you, uh, you're a Bears fan, you're a Sox fan, you're a Cubs fan, so I love watching all Chicago sports. Uh, Basketball is my favorite game because it's such a fast-moving game. It, uh, it keeps your attention. You know, to play, I play in a lot of the sport and social club leagues, and I try to pick a different sport every season. So I play softball in the spring and volleyball in the summer, and I, I bowl in the winter. So, I, uh, you know, I'm not, I'm not a professional at any of them, but uh, it's always fun to come out and play. Now, what is the sports and social club? Can you explain that? Sure, it's just a way for young professionals all around Chicago to, uh, to play their favorite sport. You know, when you go to school or when you're involved in an organization like Special Olympics, you have an outlet to play your sport. But once you get out of college, you know, you really don't have anywhere to play volleyball, to play basketball, to play soccer. So, you know, what we do is organize uh, professionals to come out and uh, put teams together, put leagues together, give them a place to play and uh, make sure they can continue to play the sport they grew up playing. Now, when you say putting the leagues together, can you... Uh is sure, it. absolutely. We take care of everything. What we do is uh, we reserve the fields and we hire the umpires and the referees and we, you know, sign up the teams so the teams have somewhere to play. And, you know, we make sure it's a good experience every week when they come out. All they have to do is show up and play. We take care of managing things and, uh, and making sure everything runs smoothly and that they have a good time. Now, what do you like about working with Special Children's Charity? Special Children's Charities is a great organization to work with. You know, it's a... Uh, the opening ceremony every year at Soldier Field, when you go out there and you see all the athletes and you feel the passion, you know, that they have for their sport, it's nice to see everyone in one place. And, you know, throughout the year and throughout all the games, I think, uh, you know, it just shows that everybody's equal. The people in sport and social club can play in their sport. Special Olympics play in their sport. And, um, you know, the same thing I said about sport and social club. It gives the Special Olympians the ability to, to participate in their sport and to exercise their skills. And, uh, you know, it's just a really, really rewarding thing. It's not about whether you win or lose. It's just being able to go out and do something you enjoy. So when you say it's not to win or lose, they could try their best, right? Well, everyone tries their best, of course, but not everyone comes home with one of these medals that you have here on the table. I know my team certainly doesn't. <laughs> now, when you say the opening ceremonies at Soldiers Field, is it hard to find an honorary coach? Is it hard to find an honorary coach? Yes. No, I don't think so. Not at all. Um, you know, I think uh, you know, part of being involved in Special Olympics is finding those volunteers and getting people at the parks and schools to help out with the organization. And of course, you know, raising money for all the programs and to help support the athletes. So I think, uh, you know, it's something that people want to be involved in. And all you have to do is show up once and you feel the passion that the athletes feel. And I think you're hooked for life. That's cool. Now, can you explain yourself do you have you lived in chicago all your life sure i grew up in the south suburbs uh you know a little further south than uh, than where the Sox play and um i've lived in chicago for about 25 years i live on the north side and uh it, it's a great city i love everything chicago has to offer now with me my favorite sport is baseball and my favorite team is the white Sox. oh you got to be careful saying that some places don't you <laughs> now for my with me my special sport to compete in is bocce ball. I've never, I've never played bocce ball. Well, it's a good sport. Maybe it's something we need to look at adding for Chicago Sport and Social Club. That's cool. Now, when you say you've worked for the Special Children's Charity, how long have you been doing it? Sure. Well, my company does an event called City Chase. That uh, it's an adventure race around the city. And Special uh, Children's Charities has been the beneficiary of that for, uh, I think, six years now. 
where we ask all the teams to raise money throughout the day. So that was kind of my introduction to, to Special Olympics. Uh, so I've been involved around six years and I've been on the board now for a year. And uh, I did the Polar Plunge for the first time this year, which was uh, a very eye-opening experience, uh, jumping in the lake in the middle of March. But uh, <laughs> I think, as I said, I'm hooked for life now. Now, do you like doing what you're doing? Absolutely. I go to work every day, you know, with a purpose. I know that, uh, you know, the people that play in our leagues, the athletes that participate in Special Olympics, uh, anything we do, you know, we're putting a smile on people's faces and, uh, and giving them uh, the ability to, to do what they love. So when you say that, how can people, what can they do to get involved? Involved in Chicago Sport and Social Club? Yeah. Sure. I mean, our website has all the information about our leagues. It's chicagosocial.com. And you can go and pick the sport that you want to play and pick the location that you want to play and just sign up right online. Now with me, my all-time favorite sport to compete in is basketball. Yeah. But I also love to do softball. We have basketball, we have softball. We offer 22 different sports uh, you know, throughout the year. So there's pretty much something for everybody. Can you ex explain that? The sports? Yeah. Sure. We offer uh, you know, beach volleyball and soccer leagues and football leagues and a lot of the very popular team sports. Uh, in addition to that, we have individual activities from boxing to yoga to kayaking down the Chicago River. There's literally something for everyone. And the way we take our registrations, you can sign up with a whole team or you can sign up by yourself and we'll put you together. So, you know, you don't need 10 friends to come out and play. You can sign up by yourself and we'll make it happen for you. Now, now when you say that you could sign up as a team or an individual, can you explain that? Sure. If you have a group of friends or coworkers or you know people that you've been playing a sport with for a long time, you guys can all sign up together and that's your team. Or if you know you just moved to Chicago and, and you don't have that, you can sign up by yourself and we'll take 10 people that you don't know and make a team of you and you get entered into the league the same way. Now with me, I lived in Chicago mm -hmm. all my life. Yep. And I go, to, I compete with this park called McGuane. Mm -hmm. And I kind of enjoy because it gives me something to do. Now, when you said about sports and social club, can anyone join that club? Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. It's open to pretty much anyone that wants to play. Uh, you know, as I said, all you have to do is pick your sport and uh, pick the location and the day of the week that you want to play, and you can sign up. It's nice. So, now, my last question is, when you said Sports Social Club, if I want to join, all I got to do is go to the website? Well, you have to be 21 and over to sign up for our league. So, um, you know, you have, to be, uh, you have to be old enough to play. But other than that, there's no restrictions. Just go to the website, chicagosocial.com, and, and you can sign up and play. So do you love any sp uh, other sports besides baseball? Yeah, we do, as I said, 20 sports uh, throughout the year. Volleyball, soccer, softball, football, floor hockey, uh, boxing, yoga. I don't think I could even name them all. There's so many of them. So you said your favorite sport is baseball. Is that correct? I like playing baseball and softball. I like playing volleyball on the beaches, uh, you know, in the summer. That's a lot of fun. So, you know, I, I'm game for any sport. Just go out and have a good time. That's nice. Now, Jason, thank you f for coming on the show and sharing us with us your experience with the Special Olympics and the Special Children's Charity. Thank you. Thank you very much for having me. It's a great show and a, a great production you guys have here. That's cool. Now, stay tuned. We'll be with two special people from a diff uh, park. I do figure skating, tennis. Gymnastics. Same here. I'm going for the goal, baby. It was good. It was like my second time coming back to special limit. That was good. I had confidence. I'm first place, and I think I got Nicholas Trophy. We're number one. I love the special Olympics. My dream is to get a job. Do something other people do. I want to be a rocker. I'll oh, stick yeah. and point to college. To graduate from college and get my name on the Walk of Fame in Hollywood. I want to be a singer and a ballet dancer. President. With Special Olympics, we're able to come out, do our own thing, you know, represent our school and everything. You just got to believe in yourself. You don't have to believe in what other people tell you. Dare it, dream it, and do it. I can do anything I set to my mind. <laughs> 
Just do my best. As, that's all I'm gonna do. Just do my best and I make everybody proud. Welcome back. If you're just tuning in, I'm Mark Hop. Right now, I'm gonna introduce you to two brothers, Ryan and Brian Deer from Kosciuszko. Guys, welcome. Welcome. Now, I've read that you started Kaz three years ago, and you already competed in 10 different events. Ryan, what's your favorite event to compete in? I compete, I compete in basketball. So you like basketball, right? Football, skiing, track and field. Now if you could choose which one, which one would it be? Uh, skiing. Now Brian, what's your favorite? Volleyball. Uh, That's cool. Any other events you'd like to do? I, I, I like to play volleyball in fall. Do you guys both like to draw? Yes. Now I have a calendar that you could look at because I'm in there for the 2013 calendar in July. Okay. Now, how do you guys like competing at Kaziasco Park? I went to ski in winter 2012 because, because the skiing is going fast into the poles. That's cool. Now, what about you, Brian? I have a question, please. Now, did you guys compete in snowshoeing last Saturday? No, I did not complete it because you and I are not on the list for snowshoeing. What about you, Ray? I'm not. I would, I'm a nice snowshoe because short time since December 2010. Now, do you, now do you both like competing? Competing? Is I am not no. I'm not competing as snowshoe because of short time. Now, what about you, Brian? Do you like competing? Uh, no, I cannot compete in snowshoe because they're going to replace the skiing. Now, are you guys going to compete in basketball next month? I might compete in the basketball in 2013. Okay. Right now, we, uh, if you can see, we have a, a Special Olympics basketball. So do, do you guys... But do you guys like basketball to compete in? I have no clue for basketball. What about you, Ryan? I play, I play basketball. I play, work hard to get your shots. Now, Ryan, you said skiing. Do you, uh... I like, I like skiing because the poles like the S curves. That's cool. Now, Brian, you like skiing? Yes, skiing, the levels f for skiing f from easy to the advanced hard levels. Now, what's your, when you say Kaziatsuko, what is the, the thing? name from Kaz. Is it the Cosmos? Brian, is your, your team name is Kaz, it's called Cosmos, right? No, uh, co Cosmics, what? Cosmic with my brother. Cos yeah. 
your mask has. What is it? A cosmix. With, with my with my brother. It's with me. I I like to keep it also. Yes. Yes. When you guys started like three years ago, I That's I keep it ten years. Are you guys uh, going to any state games? Yes, state. No, is that when the state games, right? State games, we're state games, yeah. Now, do you like what you guys do as competing wise? Yes, competing. Now, Ryan, yes. and Ryan, you guys, like That's you point. said, Skiing is your favorite sport, right? Yes. Now, can you, uh, do you guys have any other sport you'd like to compete in? Uh, softball. Right? Yes. Do you uh, like softball also? Uh, yes, softball. Yes. I know softball is like one of my favorites too. Now with softball, what's your best position to play. Play almost like a baseball. Baseball. What spot do you like to play? I like to play play softball. I understand. Do you have a favorite spot you like to play? First base? First, second? First place. First base? Second? First, second, and third base. What about you, Brian? Yes. At the third base. I know uh, with me, I, have, I do three spots. First base, right. shortstop, and pitcher. Now, do you, when you guys both started like three years ago, almost, is it hard? Almost three years. Is it hard to compete? Uh, compete, yes. Yes. Brian, what about you? It, it is true that it is hard to compete if we get the first place. The other teams were going downstate or upstate. If it's, if it's second, third, or the fourth, you can go to downstate or the upstate in Illinois. And only the first place only teams. Only the first place teams you go to upstate and downstate in Illinois. And so like I said, only for first place goes oh, down state. That's only the first place. Have you guys ever got like second place? Yes. Yes, I got second place in volleyball. That's cool. Now, have you guys ever got first place in at other events? Uh, no. Uh, events. What is the first place? What about you, Brian? No. Uh, last year, uh, the, the basketball got a, it got third place in basketball s since 2012. Since 2012. Now I wanna thank you guys for coming on the show yes and for sharing for sharing with yes. us your experience with yes. the special olympics yes yes ma'am like so i'm um, again i'm mark hop and thank you for tuning in to special olympics chicago